interested in studying neuro de neurodegenerative diseases, uh -huh. and particularly the myotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS, mm -hmm. which is also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. There's a pathological protein that aggregates in the vast majority of patients who have ALS and their disease-affected neurons. We study this protein. It's called TDP43. We've made transgenic C. elegans that um, express human TDP43 protein, and they develop a variety of phenotypes, including progressive locomotor defects, um, shortened lifespan, uh, aging-dependent neurodegeneration, protein aggregation, and a lot of biochemical modifications to the protein that you see in human disease. So it's a good model for ALS, and we've used it for genetic screens, we've used it for drug screens to try and identify things that can either inform the biological pathway that's regulating TDP43 and neurotoxicity and also to identify potential therapeutic targets and therapies, you know, directly screening and drugs. I love the idea that an inexperienced, you know, relatively inexperienced person can do electrophysiology mm -hmm. easily. And the neonometric screen chip allows us to do EFIS without having to dissect a worm and stick a needle in a single neuron. It has let us explore phenotypes that we have never looked at before. We've never looked at pumping in our mutants. We've never looked at it in our transgenic worms. And there's clear differences that we've identified and that we can then follow up. This is a screenable phenotype that we can use to look for genetic modifiers or drug modifiers. Uh, it's just a really useful technique that we're hoping to keep in our back pocket that we throw at every single strain we're interested in. It's always a surprise to find a new phenotype, and sometimes it's surprising when there's no differences. Mm -hmm. And that information is useful in both ways. You know, we might have a phenotype where they have trouble moving, but they're pumping normally, or vice versa. Yeah. Um, so it. Any, any data that we've gotten has been interesting. I would say we haven't, none of it has been thrown away. It's, it's all been informative. Visual pumping is time consuming. Mm -hmm. um, you have to look at uh, a single worm or a recording of a worm for a long period of time. Mm -hmm. And it's just nothing that we've ever done. Yeah, and it's also not super consistent, right? It's all about the technician and what they count as the pump. So that's like, right. you have to have one te that technician doing all of their your screens, or it's biased. Yes, and it's not just the physical act of pumping that we're interested in, but it's in the interaction of the muscles and the neurons and the signal that you that Neumetrics is recording on this chip. So we're getting a lot more information that just pumps by using this technology. We've used the screen chip in this system to A, identify a new phenotype in our worms that we've never looked at, which is pumping defects and changes in the neurological, in the signaling that's controlling pumping, which is really relevant to our phenotype. And then we can look for things that suppress and enhance. Mm -hmm. So okay. it's, been, it's been really useful. It uh, didn't take super long to figure out how to use. I think the first time I was probably doing two or three wor uh, worm strains and it probably took me three hours to complete that. And I think the time has gone down. I can do the setup much faster now. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's uh, an easy way to get data pretty quickly. I'm excited that this has been commercialized and that it's something that we can just order chips. We don't have to try to make our own chips. <laughs> you know, the software is beautiful uh -huh. that you guys have developed and that's making it much more user friendly. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm really happy with the development you guys have done thus far. I find it to be a fairly fun technique, actually. Oh. It's a, a re I mean, you generate so much data so quickly, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and the setup is so easy, right? So, like, a couple days before I do an egg lay, um, and I get all my worms ready, and then I can just kind of ignore them <laughs> uh, until the day that I'm going to run, which is almost always Thursday, so, like, it's like a routine. Uh -huh. I set my worms up on Monday, I, <laughs> I run the system on Thursday, and I generate a whole bunch of data all at once. I think that any C. elegans researcher could find a reason to use the screen chip. 
really. Um, anyone who's looking at any any mutant, mm -hmm. you know, that they're trying to characterize. Um, it's a screenable phenotype. People who are looking for um, modifiers of worm biology, worm behavior, I think this is a really robust phenotype that um, they can use. And HEMA analysis is such a pretty and intuitive piece of software. Um, I find it pretty enjoyable to use, actually. It's, uh, it feels very modern and slick, and I can look at my traces immediately. It loads things pretty quickly. Uh, it, it feels like I can, I can see what's going on uh, very efficiently.